Hey guys, how we going? Um, I'm here just giving an update on the kale situation. So last video I gave you, um, we had a salt issue, which we still have. So what ended up happening is our kale was seven part, uh, seven times, uh, had a sodium level seven times more than what it should. As you can see, I got a lot of bare land at the moment. Uh, a lot of this contained kale, which I've had to since chop up. So all of this is gone. We couldn't use it. So we lost a couple of acres worth of kale. Um, you know, it is what it is. Um, I've got a little bit more coming up, but I've really had to restrict my supply uh, to only, you know, a couple hundred a week, as opposed to, you know, a couple thousand a week, but that's okay. It is what it is. I'm just making this video. I mean, look, this is a situation where um, we haven't had any rain, we haven't had any water coming, natural water coming down, and we've had to, you know, draw from the boar. The boar got incredibly salty over summer, and it happens. But you know what? At least we haven't had bushfires touch wood, and at least we haven't had floods touch wood. There's a lot of Australia that's doing it a lot worse than what we are at the moment. And while this is, you know, fairly devastating, we're gonna get over this fairly easily. I've got, got someone out soil prepping right now we've thrown some gypsum out that's going to help with the salt content all of this is organic matter and while it is sad to see kale being shredded up and you know not being used at least it's being used to go back into the soil and build up that soil wealth and and we we will we will get over it and we can still produce kale we just have to produce it a little bit differently and do some different stuff Floods, fires, that takes a long time to get over. So my thoughts, my prayers go out to everyone who's been affected across Australia. And I hope you guys recover soon. So all the best. Everyone take it easy. And while fruit and vegetable prices are a bit high in the supermarket, just deal with it. Buy them. Support your local farmers. They need your support. Thank you, everyone.